Hey guys, it's Nathan with American West Realty, and I'm standing in front of 1813 23rd Street, which is a three bedroom, two bath home. It's got some neat features inside. Uh, this is all single level home. It has a, an attached one car garage, a fully fenced backyard. So in order to try and cut down on the in-person showings and the potential spread of COVID, I will do a more detailed walkthrough so you can get an idea of this home. So let's turn the camera around. Okay, just a quick overview of the neighborhood. This is the Presbyterian Church right down here. Uh, just across the street from it is a nice uh, public park. There's also another, a lot of people don't know this, there's another public park over here in the Meadow Lark subdivision as well. Meadow Lark is a newer, kind of upscale uh, community, a lot of doctors and attorneys I don't know who's in there retired folks uh, so here we've got a nice big patio in the front paved driveway there's a walk-through gate here on the side of the garage there's also one on the opposite side of the house go into the home you step into this nice little mudroom slash laundry room so washer dryer hookups are there you get nice plank flooring Access to the crawl space. That's where the furnace and water heater are located. This is a forced air heat system. It does not have air conditioning. Lots of space for hanging coats. This door leads into the garage. Again, this is a one car garage. The door is a little bit low, so it would not work probably for larger trucks or SUVs. Uh, something to keep in mind if if you intend to use it for parking and then we've got some little built-in shelving and a little workbench there again the garage is on an opener then we have a door leading into the kitchen again nice plank flooring there's space here for a small table and chairs Lots of cabinet storage. You'll notice this is a dual oven, so you can cook two different layers there. It's nice flat top cook stove. Plenty of storage, refrigerator, dishwasher, and I believe there's also a garbage disposal on this sink here. Let's quickly show you the interior of the fridge, in case that's important to anybody. Again, quite a bit of storage in the cabinets. This would technically be the dining area if you were so inclined to use it, or you could just expand it into an office space or a little bit larger living room. And it just L shapes into the living room. Got a nice tall coat closet and some shelves built in there, as well as additional storage here in the hallway. It's usually used for cleaning supplies, linens. So quite a bit of storage space there. And over on this side, be great for brooms, mops, vacuum, more storage cabinets up top. Okay, this is the smallest of the three bedrooms. Got nice carpeted flooring, closet, all the way up to the ceiling. Just a little bit extra storage space there. Got newer vinyl windows. Here we have bedroom number two. This is a little bit larger, so probably about a, could easily fit a queen size bed with a couple nightstands. I would guess probably about 12 by or 11 by 12 or maybe 11 by 13. And the third bedroom there, a little bit older carpet, but still clean and in great condition. Again, nice tall closet. And we have two bathrooms. This is the original bathroom. Again, that upgraded vinyl flooring. 
very unique vanity. You don't see a lot of curved vanities and sinks. Medicine cabinet. Toilet. And here we have a full bathtub and shower. Okay, and then going through this third bedroom, it has direct access to this new bathroom, which is a three quarter bath, so it has a shower, but not a tub. So nice shower there, toilet, vanity, And this old wall furnace is just abandoned. They left it there. It's no longer functional, but still there. And then into the mudroom. All right, so that's the basic layout of the interior of the home. And then off the living room, we also have an access door leading to the side of the house in the backyard. I'll take you out there to show you that. Again, we've got a walkthrough gate here leading to the front of the home. Nice little side yard. And in the back, pretty good sized yard. Nice wood fence in good shape. We have over here the pad for a storage shed. Um, and then there's also a nice large patio. So great space for... Uh, Play area for kids, patio furniture, uh, whatever. And again, around the corner there, you can walk alongside the house and there is a, another gate that leads to the front. Uh, back in the corner here is raw water access. And so that gives you pretty much unlimited water usage for irrigation in the summer. It's pretty simple, just hook up some hoses and Turn that on, you should be able to easily water the lawn front and back without much trouble or expense. All right, so that is our walkthrough inspection of 1813 23rd Street. Uh, again, this property is vacant and ready to move in. So if you are interested, you can go to our website to start the application process. Uh, if you do need to do an in-person inspection, uh, please contact the office and we can try to work that out. Again, keeping in mind that we're trying to mitigate the amount of exposure to uh, COVID-19 or, or any other illness that happens to be in the area. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 587-9608. Thanks.